I'm here at ITU Telecom World 2012 in Dubai and I'm very pleased to be joined by Minister Makari Mbarawa who is Minister for Communication, Science and Technology for Tanzania. Minister, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I'd like to talk to you about debates at ITU Telecom World 2012 have been focusing very much on the current radical transformation of the ICT sector uh, and none more so than, than very much in your, in your region. Uh, what for you is the principal opportunity arising from this transformation? Yeah, first of all, there is a great opportunity, uh, especially in the area of uh, broadband. There is a huge development in the area of broadband, especially in every country now. A lot of people talking about broadband, broadband, especially if you take example in Tanzania. In Tanzania, we have built around uh, 7,500 7,560 7, kilometers of optical fiber. Uh, the national optical fiber is connected to our neighboring countries, Rwanda, Burundi, Malawi, Zambia, Kenya, and Uganda. So all lo uh, locked, the, unlocked the countries like Rwanda and Burundi are uh, using a traffic by Tanzania national broadband. So this is a great opportunity for our country, also for our neighbor. Those neighbors who, have, who haven't got a port, they're using national ICT backbone through Tanzania. In Tanzania, we have got, uh, in fact, three marine cable landed at Dar es Salaam, Easy, Seacom, and CCs, which is from Dar es Salaam to Seychelles. So here we've got a, a great opportunity now for the country. So infrastructure is one thing. Next thing now is the content. You can build all the nice infrastructure, but if without no without proper contact content, you can do anything. So from a government, we have decided to be more serious, involved in development of local applications. In Dar es Salaam, we have got uh, uh, Tanzania, what we call Dar es Salaam incubation incubation center, where it's dedicated for educating young generation, Tanzania young generation to be involved more in e-content or applications. And so far we've got a number of applications which has gone to the market, which is very good for, 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 for the development in ICT. That is one part. Second part, I think we need to develop more content, especially in e-government application, like e-education, e-health, e-government, e e e and e enough. So there's a lot of opportunity, that one. So, the big challenge here, I think, uh, you have, we have got infrastructure, we can develop content, but the other issue is the security. So is that your major challenge at the moment? Yes. Security is a mega ch major challenge here. Because content, we can do it, it's not a problem. Time after time, one day will be there. But if we haven't got a proper security issues, it can be very, very difficult. One day somebody can come there and they destroy everything. So by coming to this meeting, or by involving with other people in this meeting, or by exchanging experience and uh, expertise with the other guys, we can learn a lot how to protect our infrastructure. Finally, I'd like to ask you, what are your expectations of ITU Telecom World 2012? Why are events such as these valuable? And what key message would you like to deliver here in Dubai? Definitely, what we are saying here, this is a big platform. We need to sit down together to change expertise between different countries to see how we can work together as a team or we can collaborate in order to fight with the cyber, cyber crime. That is very important. That is the first issue. Second issue, I want to talk with investors, especially involved, who want to invest in Tanzania. Tanzania, there is a great opportunity. Tanzania, we have got a proper infrastructure, a special ICT backbone, which is unique for telecommunications sector. Also, we have got a neighbor countries which have got a, a lot of neighbor countries which they haven't got infrastructure, but by national ICT backbone through Tanzania, you can reach those countries with a big population. That is a unique opportunity for everyone who wants to come to invest in East Africa. Well, I wish you the very best. And, and Minister, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. You're welcome. Thank you.